Knicks and the Wizards at the Garden in a rematch. After the Knicks escaped DC with the win over the Wizards on Friday, Wizards coming in with reinforcements, a different Wizards team. Monte Morris back and their star Bradley Beal back in the lineup. And this Wizards team, man, you know, it's, it's very hard to take a team out after you just saw them just days early. And this Wizards team came out with more energy, more intensity in the offensive defensive end. Welcome back, Chris Stapps. Porzingis gets booed at the Garden and still goes ahead to drop 22 on the Knicks. Kyle Kuzma drops 27. And Bradley Beal with 18, man. Wizards with a wire to wire win and despite Jalen Brunson's brilliance man 32 points for Brunson continuing continuing his hot streak Knicks just could not get the job done and they uh catch a L man 116 to 105 after a heartbreaker against the Raptors in overtime uh, a fatigued and exhausted Knicks team leaving that game coming in tonight against the Wizards. And uh, they just got out. They got worked, man. They got worked. And as I said, it's, it's very hard to put a team away after you just saw them. As Thibodeau just said on this press conference, they're going to make their adjustments. They're going to play with more sense of urgency. And I thought that's what they did. And in my game preview and the show that I did earlier today when I talked about this game, I thought that there were a couple of things that the Knicks needed to do to get this dub. Number one, they needed to move the ball. They only finished with, a, I think, about 14 or 15 assists in the last game on Friday. I didn't think the ball movement was all, was all that good. I thought they settled for a lot of jumpers on Friday. And you saw the same case today, especially in the first half. Very slow out the gates. Ball wasn't moving well. Yes, Brunson had it cooking. Julius didn't. And so that was a problem. I thought they needed to shoot the three ball well in this game. Mm. Wizards, despite the fact that they're number 12 in the East and an inconsistent team, they still do things fairly well on the defensive end. This is a middle of the pack defensive team in the league, and they're pretty good in the half court. They're top 10 in opponents' effective field goal percentage. Top 10 in opponents' two-point percentage. Top 10 in opponents' Uh, assist the field goals made they are pretty good in the half court and they will give up the three Knicks could not hit the broadside of a barn from three-point land shooting 26 percent from three today so I thought that was problematic I also felt like the Knicks needed to get out and transition as they did in that last game and they lost the fast break points category tonight did not could not get any key turnovers, and could not get out and run against this Wizards team. You know, this Wizards team, they offer a lot of size out there, a lot of size, a lot of length. When you look at Chris Stapps at 7'3", you know, Kispert 6'6", you have Kuzma, who's, uh, what's, what's Kuzma about? 6'8", 6'9", Abdia 6'9", yep. Rui 6'9", and uh, about. You know, they have, a, outside of Monte Morris, who's about 6'2", the Wizards have a lot of size and a lot of length. They're almost like that Raptors team in, in a way. Mm -hmm. so so they are tough they you have to work they make you work in that half court and i just thought the knicks from an energy standpoint and execution standpoint just didn't have it this is, this loss sucked bro yeah, um yeah, it did. just because for me coming into this and after watching a heartbreaking loss to the toronto raptors i was hoping that the knicks would bounce back show that they have that grit that fight you know, I get it. Second game of a back-to-back -back against the Toronto Raptors. You just played in Detroit. You flew from Detroit back home. You're playing at 3 p.m. Uh, the next day. Weird for, for the Knicks to have to travel and then play in such a short amount of time. That is what the NBA did to them. It is what it is. But for a team that is trying to fight and stay competitive, you just beat the Wizards last week. You knew how tough this team was to face without Bradley Beal because it went down to the wire last week. So you had to come into this game with enough energy to compete. And for a team that's looking to make some noise and that's looking to make like a playoff appearance, right? That is what the expectation is mm -hmm. for this team. Uh, whether or not that's from everyone in the fan base, that is what the front office and I'm sure the players are expecting. I'm expecting a level of awareness just to know how difficult the upcoming schedule is. 
right? Like you have, like we have Boston, we have all these, we have the Cavs, we have a couple of tough teams tougher. coming up in the schedule. All right, and you would think, all right, Wizards, they're not necessarily the best team. They're they they'll compete, but this is a game where you have to think like we have to take advantage of all these type of games as possible, and it just shows the level of grit and, and fight that this team has. If you can come out, and you can go win. Now, sure, you get you got someone like Randall tonight who wasn't shooting. Me, you went two for 12 before you got four of his shots in the fourth quarter towards the end of the game where it didn't really matter at that point. But I'm looking for an adjustment as a player from there for a guy who was like, who's on such a heater. I get that you're exhausted. You see that your jump shot's not falling. But where did he have success? He was two for four within the paint around the rim. Why not cut? I saw him do a little bit of cutting after the Mm -hmm. second, to begin the second half. I'm looking for more of that. You saw RJ was able to get downhill tonight. Why don't you let RJ continue to get downhill? You saw quickly had it going, let quickly cook. All right. Don't make so many changes in the fourth quarter with, with what's working that got you back into <laughs> into fighting into a fighting into a fighter's chance. So yeah. it stunk because I w- I wish this team just came out with a sense of urgency to know that they had to, they have to play better. They I wanted to see them bounce back after a gruesome loss, man. That's all I wanted to see. I wanted to see them bounce back after a gruesome loss. At the whole at, at the end of the day. There's still much more to the season to go. Um, I get it. You're tired, so forth, whatever. But I just wanted this one. I wanted to see them get this one and just make a statement saying, even though after we lose, we can bounce back and come back stronger. That's why I was looking from this game tonight. I just got two things to say. Yeah. I'm a big Nick fan 30 years plus, so I've been around maybe Let's before go. one of you, two of you guys were born, I, yeah. I think. No doubt. <laughs> but here's the detail. Here's what's going on here. The Knicks are playing very good basketball. Mm-hmm. Today, there was no urgency. They they looked pretty stagnant. They had no energy. Randall was off. Randall sometimes misses some plays. Like, there was a play where they had a three-on-one fast break quickly. It was wide open, which he does this, I would say, at least once a game, make me want to break the TV. Look for the open man. I don't know what it is sometimes. We, he, this happened last game. He took two shots at the end of the game when we had he could have made one or two passes to make the play. Mm-hmm. They're missing plays. I don't know if sometimes they stop listening to Tibbs. I called before and I said again, Tibbs got to go. Mm. Uh, and and the, the bottom two line, I'm gonna give them a, a, a little a little leeway today. They've been playing their butts off for the last few weeks. Mm-hmm. They had an off game. Okay, we'll give them we'll give them a, a, a D for one game, mm-hmm. but. Like Alex said, they should have bounced back. This would have been a big thing for them to bounce back and say, hey, we screwed up that last game, but we're still playing hard and we're still here, and they didn't. There was no urgency. There was, if you ask me again, they missed plays. Uh, And one thing I'm noticing throughout the league now, Mm -hmm. throughout the Knicks team, and this is why we're losing to the Raptors, and I really hate playing them because it's always a nightmare playing those guys. The length on our team. Yeah. We have a good team, but the length is not We there. don't have it. We don't have any wings. There's no length. And, and and this is why I think I asked before, even though he don't have the length, I like Joe, Jay Crowder. I, 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 you guys say he won't move the needle, but I think he'll help because of his attitude and the way he pushes people. Mm-hmm. I'm all for giving up Kuzma. I mean, I'm all for taking Kuzma, like that guy said, mm-hmm. and giving up Hardenstein. Sorry, Obi Toppin, because I'm done with him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you have to throw in. They not t- playing camps with so Cam Fournier yeah. and give him one or two first round picks. We need length. We're not. We need length in order to advance in the Eastern Conference. These teams are long. Yeah. We're we're medium. We're, we're look what every, look what the other night you had R.J. Barrett. Scotty Barnes. Uh, Scotty Barnes was killing him. Toronto? Scotty Barnes was oh, chewing him up. And Kuz, Kuz, Kuzma's, Kuzma's been murdering, chewing him up, too. Like, you know, murdering. Yeah. That, that, that's like Nate Robinson guarding him. Like, yeah. It was just oh, embarrassing. RJ, RJ's been getting, cool. he, he's been getting chewed up. He's been getting carved up on defense. The size is killing him. And again. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. It's it's very evident when you, when you play in these teams like uh, the Wizards, like the Raptors, man. These guys are just scoring right over us. Same thing when we played the Spurs. These guys are just scoring right over us. No problem. So that's that's something they, they got to address that in the draft. Clearly, it's going to be in the draft. They're not going to trade for Kuzma. And you guys got to stop with these 2K trades to Kuzma. He's having an all-star year. 
And then these people give them all the scraps, one or two picks, and get Kuzma here. That's it. The highly protected picks. Yeah, the, the highly protected yeah, and ones. G- you give, and you give the Wizards back their highly protected picks. Right, pick. right, right. <laughs> Not the unprotected. We need those. My thing is this, man. RJ has been looking better on the offense, but defensively he's getting cooked every night because he's playing out of position, man. He's just not a three. He's not a wing. He's a two guard. He has a physical advantage over a lot of two guards in the league, but he can't handle guys like Kuzma. He's not ever going to be able to handle a guy like that. Yeah, yeah. So I think, you know, if Tibbs would just – if Tibbs wasn't just who he is – and we actually were playing guys like Cam, and he was playing against a guy like Kuzma. Arjun would be able to do his thing at the two. We would have a much better bench because we could have Grimes playing off the bench, even though he should be getting a lot of minutes as well. Mm -hmm. But it would put everybody back in better positions if, you know, Cam was actually getting some minutes. Obi might be able to do something if, you know, the, the bench was actually moving instead of having to be so quickly reliant for points, I think it's just, you know, that one piece we need. We need to get a real three on this team yeah. to change how this team moves, man. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's really all I got, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate the call. Appreciate the support, man. Always rocking with us, man. Appreciate it, bro. All right, brothers. Yep. Yeah, the the, the wing situation is um, it's a conundrum because you have Grimes in there at the two who – is a better defender at the two than even RJ, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and no then you question. have RJ at the three who's playing out of position, who can't guard threes. Well, it's tough, man. Let's wrap the show up. Good show. I'll catch up with you uh, Friday, man.